to the Spiritual Saturday San Diego, the Spiritual Sundays. I'm going to be reading the passage of uh, Happy Life. And I was just asking people here, what is CLI? Because <laughs> it's like I don't remember the Roman name, numbers. But I have, the message is 151. Be wary of immoral fantasies. They pervert both your emotions and your sexuality. They become ingrained on your mental screens and create afflictive cravings that torment and destabilize you. What you cultivate in your imagination can become an angel of assistance. If noble or a demon when or a demon when vulgar, in the physical arena there are serious moral behaviors that are sustained by maddening mental passions. Think and act, act harmoniously, cultivate uplifting ideas, and you will be blissful. And I think that's it for us today. Wait, if we can have a little bit of pause, if I can have a bit. Yes. Thank you. So, we now prepare for our meeting. We've done our opening prayer. Saying thank you, thank you, Father, Divine Creator, for all that has been given to us, the opportunity to be here, the this beautiful day, all the blessings you send us every day. Although we might not perceive it, we might not take the moment to be aware of it. Today, we reserve this time to reconnect, to connect to your loving thoughts, feelings, healing. So we say thank you once again, and we ask permission to open our spiritual Sunday today. May your will be done, not ours, and so be. Thank you, Susanna. Uh, today, uh, I have a very important and interesting message. When we uh, form a family, grandparents, parents, sons, daughters, we said, this is my family, this is my circle that I embraced within a, a, a house. <clears throat> but what really binds ourselves in order for us to say, this is my son, this is my daughter, that is my my dad, when we talk about that, we're talking about uh, ties that they're from the body. Then we have to start talking about DNA that we study. Oh, he has green eyes because I have green eyes. So he, ha I pass that DNA uh, a trait to that person or to that relative of mine. But what about those that they're outside in the world? For instance, here, I have Anisio, I have Susanna here. And then can I say, are they my family? Well, we're going to talk about something very interesting here that is called bodily kinship and a spiritual kinship. And we're going to try to define each one of those. Bodily is 
when a mother passes genes into a son or a daughter. We all know that. But what about a spiritual ties to that son, to that parent, to that grandparent? Blood ties do not necessarily create connections among spirits. Here's the big word, spirits. We have to first explain that we all have a spirit, a specific spirit, each one of us. And we can create ties, spiritually speaking. We can make bonds with another spirit, even though they're not part of our own family. That's, very, that's interesting. Why? Because the body originates from the body. But the spirit does not originate from the spirit. So that's a big difference. Because the spirit already existed before the body was formed. And it says here that when a mother is creating life in, the, in their womb, it's just providing body or physical uh, uh, envelope to that particular spirit. It's just providing body and spirit. And we'll see that in a minute. I said, be, the spirit already existed before the body was formed. Parents do not create the spirit of their, their children. So I did not create the spirits from my children. I did not. They were existing before. We only provide to them with a bodily envelope. Albeit still expected to help them in their moral and intellectual development in order to make them progress. So that's basically what we do. We help our children to grow intellectually and morally. Basically, that's what that's why we're here. But we did not originate that spirit. We did not give the spirit to that to that uh, 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 son or daughter of, our, of ours. Now the spirits that incarnate in one same family, especially among close relatives, are more often sympathetic spirits. We know we have friends. We said, I like that guy because he's pretty cute or he's pretty good. He's, he fulfills my... Uh, we have the same thoughts. We like the same things that, they, that we both like. So we get in contact with that. And uh, with this concept about the spiritual ties, we have done ties in the spiritual realm where we were before. And then when we come back here and we incarnate here in, the, in the, uh, this planet, we already carry those ties that we made out there. So I very well will have people that I like living in another country or living in another town or living or can be my next door neighbor or can be one of my brothers or sisters from the spiritual center, which is amazing. Also, could happen that uh, there are spirits that are com completely uh, different to one another. There's something really interesting here because each spirit that has been created is totally different from one another. 
we can, uh, for an instance, we can meet, let's say, a, uh, uh, a twins, a twin brothers or twin sisters. And they, if they homozygotic, that means they were born from the same placenta. Genetically speaking, they will be exactly the same. They will have the same pattern in their genes, both. They can interchange organs if they want to without any rejections. But the difference between those two, or could be three or four, is the spirit. Each one of them will have a totally different spirit. There's no two spirits the same. That's amazing. Um, sometimes we know that there's a pair of twin, twins. And that pair of twins, they hate one another. They don't like one another. Even though they're carrying the same characteristics, uh, all, all the uh, physical, chemical uh, um, ingredients they, their uh, uh, bodies they, they have, they still hate the one another. And it shouldn't be because they're equal, physically speaking. But the two spirits are totally different. So there's a different type there. Could be that this the spirit of this twin is totally different with different uh, uh, um, spiritual ties back then, and this one had another, another type totally different, and there can be created certain antagonism between the two. And that's what we see sometimes, people that apparently they like one another, but it comes to the point that those ties that were not really strong and they start fighting. And we see that every day in couples that they get married. Some marriages, we said they succeed because they have about 50 years of marriage. But I'm pretty sure that if they last that long or more, is they already had ties before they incarnate here. That's why they last. It's very important, our relationships that we create one another. It, as it is so important that we have to follow Jesus' commandments. To what extent to create early ties and to create spiritual ties. Our minds are very powerful tools that we are built with. Our spirit is a strong tool that we can use to live and to live forever. So the, the true family ties are therefore not those of consanguinity, but those of affinity and communion, communion, communion of thoughts which unite spirits before, during, and after their incarnation. So we all have a past. We already, we all did something before. If here right now we're just joining together in this center, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've already been in a different center in the spiritual realm. So there's no coincidence, really. It's not a coincidence that we come and, and, and get together. We did something before. Two beings born of different parents can be more brothers and sisters in a spirit than if they had blood ties. So that's what I was talking about. And for instance, I don't know, it's been a while that I, not 
that long that I know Susanna, for instance, here. But we created some ties right now that we're cultivating a relationship of love one another to understand one another. And that's something that counts. What I'm trying to say is that it is important the uh, relationships that we create while we're on, on, uh, on the earth because those relationships, hopefully they are good relationships, they will continue in, when we go back to the spiritual realm. So, with our friends, with our siblings, we can feel attracted by one another, seek one another, seek one another out, please one another out, whereas two consanguineous siblings can repel each other as we see every day. A moral problem which Spiritism alone could solve by revealing the plur plurality of existences. And this is something very important that I notice that not very people, not that very uh, many religions, they believe or they uh, uh, study the plurality of existences which is very important to know that we existed before. It's so important to know that life continues after the grave, which is amazing. So why am I right now uh, worrying about that I'm getting weight when I still have a long way to go? That's what I'm gaining right now. It's going to be here. It's going to stay here. But my life, my spiritual life will continue after uh, I leave my, uh, my physical envelope here. And, which is great because I, and everything is or entitles for us to do work. First to learn, then to teach, then put that teachings uh, in action. That's what we're here for, to pay our debts from the past. Hmm. Now, there are two kinds of families. Families by spiritual ties. And spiritual ties are lasting, are strengthened through pur purification and perpetuated in the spiritual world through the various migrations of the soul. So our souls will be in different stages, in different uh, uh, eras. And the ties that we do then is, are the ones that they uh, last a lot longer, which are our spiritual ties. Here I can, uh, for instance, I can hate uh, Anisio. Anisio, I hate you. But when we go, go back into the spiritual uh, realm, I'll be hugging him again. So that hate is just temporary. And it's so important, for instance, the couples, mother and father, to learn this, uh, this, this ties, because before they came to become parents of our children, of their children, they already made the plans before they came. We all came to this earth making plans of what we're supposed to do. No one was created just by magic. God does not do anything like that. 
The second uh, 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 type of family is the family by bodily ties. What we do here uh, when we're supposed to be alive in the body. But this uh, physical tie is very fragile. Same thing like matter is. Die out over time and often cease to exist morally in one's current life. And morally is something very important that we have to cultivate while we're on earth. Why? Because that's what is going to create us to ascend in this spiritual uh, scale. Jesus one, one, uh, wanted to make clear by saying to his of his disciples, here are my mother and my brothers. He said that. And that is to say, my family by the bonds of the Spirit. So it's better to have bonds with the Spirit rather than just blood ties. I have uh, two stepsons. And it's, it's, it's amazing because they get attracted to me more than my uh, blood tie that I have with my, my other uh, uh, sons. And I didn't understand that at the beginning. I didn't understand that I had to love them exactly like they were my own blood tied relatives. Why? Because the Spiritism told me, those are your sons too. But not on this, on this incarnation. They come from before. My wife, for an instance, I noticed that there are certain ties, but not ties uh, blood related, but spiritual ties. That's why I put up with her. <laughs> No, we have to comprehend our, our, our companionships, definitely. It's both, it's a work that they both have to do and work with uh, differences all the time. To the point that, you know, everything becomes relative to do and, and we just continue living. Um, for whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. And the hostility of his brothers is clearly expressed in Mark's uh, history, story. Since, as he says, they set out to seize him under the pre pretext that he was out of his mind. And perhaps if someone is just listening to this topic or this uh, uh, lecture today, they might think that I'm crazy, that I am, I, I am out of my mind. But I have the certainty that what I'm saying is something that I had a testimony of. And it's, for me, it's very interesting to understand just the simple fact that we have to love one another. And the reason why we have to do that is because we are children of the same God. We will create it all from the same source, which is God. And he created us. He did not create us just the human body like you see, a physical. He created us first as a spirit. A spirit knowledge that we still uh, a lot of people out there, they do not understand yet because they're not interested in spiritism. They're more interested in seeing that if the car runs of uh, 300 and it has a, an engine of 350 cc's or is this uh, a trademark on it or things like that. 
uh, uh, the techniques on uh, on marketing is what they start. They want you to take your attention to all the time. But what is really important is the spiritual ties that we can make. So when I said, these are my true brothers, that means I had ties with them, not only physically, but also spiritually. And I have the privilege to learn and see people here and meet people that I can really say, these are my true brothers and sisters. Not only my parents, but also relatives in the past. I have the privilege that uh, uh, with the help of, of my daughter, I'm doing my uh, genealogy. It's so interesting to know my ancestors and that we can help them out if they need. Because they're in a spiritual world, uh, a spiritual realm right now. And if we can give them a hand, they will be so pleased to, to, uh, to know that we can be, uh, used for, uh, can be used for them to help them out because some of them, they did not have any spiritual education whatsoever. And hopefully here we can continue learning because there are so much things to learn, you won't believe. I keep thinking about what I'm gonna learn tomorrow because we learn something new every day. And hopefully I will continue spreading the good uh, uh, news that we live forever, our spirit lives forever. Our physical envelope is just temporary, but we continue uh, living and, and um, we will continue learning and we will we'll continue working. And that will make us to acquire the true happiness that we all want to acquire someday, somehow. And I share these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <music>